Hey yo, what's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be me explaining how Conquer Calyx works and the pros and cons of Conquer Calyx and when to use Conquer over Electrocute or Face Rush and basically like the playstyle of uh, how Conquer Calyx is supposed to be played. So, first up, Conquer Calyx, what is it all about? So, with Electrocute Calyx, you, for the most part, do a lot of damage and you can one-shot people. But Conquer Calyx is a little bit different. Conquer Calyx is more like a bruiser type of style. Both like the keystone itself, but also like the build is pretty bruiser heavy. So this means that you don't go full AD or full lethality. But you do go some armor shredding items, you go some HP. And uh, basically a, bit, a little bit of tankiness. Um, and I'll explain like why the build is being built as it is and what the build actually is itself. So right now we are looking at my D1 account. It is currently promos to masters. And as you can see, I have been playing a bunch of Conquer Calyx here um, lately. So um, it works. I have also tested it on a Plat1 and D4 account and it was working just fine there as well. So, um, it can be played pretty much from... Yeah, it can pretty much be played in, in any elo, to be honest. Um, it's basically like a different playstyle, but if you master the playstyle, it can definitely work in uh, in some matchups. I have to say that Conquer is not always the best option. Same goes for Electrocute or any other keystone. It's basically like situational. So sometimes Conquer is the best keystone into like certain matchups or certain team comps. And other times it'll be Electrocute, and some other times it'll be Face Rush, but... What is the runes for... Conquer Calyx? So, Conquer is of course gonna be your Keystone, followed by Triumph, followed up by Legend Tenacity. You can do Legend Alacrity for the attack speed for the early clear, but... The standard Conquer build includes Tenacity, because for the most part you do conquer into tanks or melee champions like that's basically like where conquer is, is better than um, electrocute simply because you do more damage because of the true damage you get from conquer and also from the build you get some armor shredding so over time you'll do more damage and uh, tanks tend to have a lot of cc so the tenacity helps out on uh, on that and then last but not least we have coup de gras which uh can be played with, you can play it with cutdown instead into tanks, but Coup de Gras is like most standard rune to go for. And then we have Domination Secondary, where we have Sudden Impact. Simply because that you can easily proc Sudden Impact and gives you like some bonus lethality for a bit more damage. And then Ravenous Hunter, again for more sustain. Synergizes really well with Conquer and Triumph. So you get a lot of sustain from this. And then in normal runes we have... 2 times 9 AD, so 9 AD plus 9 AD again, and then we have armor. You can swap it out for MR if you're playing into an AP jungler or an AP heavy team comp. So the last one in the last one is flexible, but yeah, just 2 AD and then your armor or MR. So that's pretty much the runes that you want to be going for. It's a standard rune or rune paid to go for. Um, as I said, Conquer is really good into tanks and melee champions. You see, matchups where you can stack Conquer will be stronger than uh, than Electrocute. So if you're playing into a tank, for the most part, the Faldi items doesn't really do too much, and you're not really gonna be killing this tank like fast by yourself anyway. So you might as well go for Conquer because Conquer will like give true damage. And then on top of that, you your build, which I'll get into right after this, is basically consisting of Black Cleaver, which is tank shredding over time as well, stacking up with Conquer. And then you can buy the Last Whisper or some of the Faldi items as well. So yeah, that's pretty much that. What do you max and what do you evolve? Well, in terms of maxing abilities, it's pretty much the same as always. You start putting points in Q, W, E, and then you start up, start maxing out Q, then W, and then E. So pretty much like with every uh, every other like build or playstyle for Calyx. In terms of evolutions, though, 
you start with ulti, just like you do with face rush. You don't do Q here. You can do Q if you want to, but that's not the standard page, and that's not really what I recommend doing. I feel like our evolve is better with this build, uh, and I'll explain later more in detail why. So you start with ulti, and then you do W, and then you do E. So the reason why I do ulti instead of Q is basically because it provides a lot of utility, and it basically makes sure that you can reposition super, super easy in team fights. It gives you the better ganks, it gives you better 2v2 fights, but you lose out a little bit on, on the dueling power. But you just want to try to not force duels onto the opponent jungler from full HP. And if you do, at least make sure that you have some sort of a lead to actually be able to, to kill this uh, target. Then we follow up ulti evolve by W evolve. And W evolve is really good for team fights, it's really good for pickoffs, it's good for kiting the opponents, it's good for chasing and catching up to people. So ulti plus W just gives you so much utility and it's really hard to deal with because Calyx has a total of 6 seconds invis here plus he can slow and heal from W and he's tanky from the build and he has conquer and sudden impact so basically like life steal up as well. So he's pretty much just unkillable in team fights as soon as you get ulti and W evolve. For the last evolution you do E just for the resets again being able to jump a bit further chase a bit deeper uh, maybe get Maybe chunk someone low, like jump in with E, chunk someone low, and then ulti out, or reposition with your ulti to another target and chunk that guy low, or do like a really insane flank with your W slow so your team can catch up. Um, so ulti W E is the evolution order, and uh, then we have the build itself. So you start with Hunter's Talisman and Refillable, and you start on Red Buff, then you clear Red Crux Raptors, just like standard clear like I always do. Then you can do blue or red smite. I tend to go a little bit more for blue smite but it really depends on the matchup. Blue smite just gives you that extra slow and extra stickiness and I like the... I just like the insta true damage from blue smite because you already have like the dueling power from conquer so getting even more dueling power from red smite just seems a little bit overkill. But if you want to, or especially if you're playing against like burst damage, you could just be playing with red smite. It's definitely viable, but I tend to go for blue smite more. Then we go black cleaver, and black cleaver synergizes really well with conquer, and it's basically like armor shredding. So if you're playing into tanks, again, this is like the most common team comp to play conquer into, then you basically shred people with... Black Cleaver and Conquer at the same time. So you basically like kill tanks fairly easily without taking damage because you have to sustain. Like you have to sustain from Conquer and Sudden Impact. And you have the damage both from Black Cleaver and Conquer. So you can basically like kill tanks fairly fairly easily. You can't one-shot them, but like over time it will be easier to kill them compared to with Electrocute, where you do like a ton of burst damage, which is then still not that huge because it's a tank. And then you don't really do too much damage after that. Followed by Black Cleaver, you can actually choose a lot of different items here. You can do a Hex Shrinker if you're playing into AP. You can play with QSS like I did in this game because they have CC. If you want a little more damage, you can go for a Dusk Blade, which is really good because you can proc it uh, an extra time with Ulti Evolve since you go into Invis once more, so you can proc your Dusk Blade three or four times. And then Boots, it's either Tab Ice or Merc Threats for the most part, you just do one or the other. And then for late game items, it can be anything from Death Dance, Sterix Gates, Deadman's Plate. Basically like any type of tankiness that basically makes sure that you don't die instantly. So the build is kind of bruiser, maybe a bit like defensive stats heavy, but the reason why is you want to be able to stay alive. So if you went full lethality, you're super squishy. You do a lot of damage, but you're also super squishy. So you won't really have time to stack up your conquer before you die if you go full lethality, because people can kill you before that. But if you go these defensive stats, you are not that easy to kill because you have like some sort of tankiness. And you also have your ulti to be able to dodge like point and click uh, abilities. And then you have to sustain from conquer, sudden impact and yeah, W as well. So you get a lot of healing back if you do take damage. 
and then over the time the more you fight the better it is like the longer the fight goes and you're able to like keep up your conquer stacks the better because you still do true damage and you heal up from it so you don't really go in and one shot people but it's more like you go in and then you chunk people low and then you either go into ulti and reset your combo rotation once again on the same target to finish them off or you reposition to another target and chunk them low so um that's pretty much how the playstyle is in terms of, uh, of team fights. I will be uploading a YouTube video um, of me playing Conquer Calyx and basically showcasing how I team fight and stuff like this, since people might not be sure how to do it. So um, if you want to see that, it will be up a few days after this video is coming up. So, Conquer Calyx is more similar to Face Rush Calyx than it is to Electrocute. The build is kind of similar and the playstyle and evolution order is kind of similar. Uh, with Face Rush, you just have a bit more mobility and you're able to reposition super, super fast. And you can basically reposition like from frontline to backline in like one ulti charge. Whereas with Conquer, it's a bit more limited. You can still reposition, but not as far. You can't really cover as much distance. But it's, it's still pretty good, I would say. And as I said, Conquer is really good into tanks. I usually say if they have two, like, either semi-tanks or huge tanks, or even three tanks. So it could be a top tank with top, uh, or top lane tank and jungle, who is a tank. Or it could be a support tank with jungle tank or top support tank. Like these, like the most common roles where they are playing tanks. I feel like Conquer could be uh, could be used fairly well. And then if the enemy team has a lot of melee champions, so either if they have three or four melee champions, then I feel like Conquer is also good because you're able to stack Conquer. If you're playing against ranged champions, it's a bit more difficult since you need to catch up to a ranged target first before you can start stacking your Conquer. And then they'll also like be kiting you out and most ranged champions also has like either CC or dash abilities that makes it's kind of difficult to stack up this Conquer, which Conquer is pretty much like all about. Um, basically, like any matchup or any team comp where you can stack your Conquer is where you want to be playing with Conquer. If you can't stack Conquer, there's no point in going it. So you might as well just go with Execute, which is easier to proc and utilize. Um, so yeah. Um, I think that's pretty much all I needed to say. Um... Yeah, um, as I said, you can do Q-Evolve if you want to first, but I feel like R-Evolve is better. It's a bit different playstyle than Electrocute, but if you can master it, it's pretty good. And it's definitely easy to play with Conquer into tanks and melee champions, like a lot of melee champions, compared to uh, to playing with Electrocute and full lethality build. So, if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like on the video. If you have any questions regarding Calyx or Conquer Calyx or anything, just let me know in the comment section below or join my stream on Twitch over at twitch.tv slash kami underscore Calyx. And um, as I said, a gameplay, like a full gameplay video of Conquer Calyx will be coming up soon as well um, throughout the next few days. And... Um, yeah, that's pretty much that. So uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. And uh, I will hopefully see you guys either in my next YouTube video or on my next live stream. So see ya.